sorry. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's, that's completely fine. Let's just stay friends. I gotta admit, it's kinda awkward. Isn't the guy supposed to pay for things? <laughs> yeah, you jerk. Nah, don't worry about it. It's my treat. Plus, I used to work here, so I get them for free. So what is this stuff? Um, it's called a matcha tea. It's like a coffee, but without the negative side effects. Coffee's negative side effects? Well, yeah. Like, uh, you can get addicted to it. What if I like addicting? <laughs> Well, then it sounds like matcha tea is not for you. Oh, really? Matcha's healthy for you. It helps clear your mind, and it's a great cure for boredom. Well, I don't know if you know this, but only boring people get bored. <laughs> hey, are you calling me boring, mister? I will call you whatever you want, as long as you get me more of these free matchas. Oh, using me for my free matchas, I see. So I take it you must like it. I haven't decided yet, but I'll let you know. <laughs> Jeez, you are such a flirt. So what made you swipe right on me? You're different than most girls in the city. Really? Tell me more about me. A lot of girls in LA try to show off every inch of their bodies to get attention, but you don't. Wow, he's quite the charmer. One big problem, though. He's not David. Who's David, you might be asking? David's my ex. We broke up five months ago after he proposed to me and I told him I wasn't ready for marriage. So, this is me on my first date, pretending to be happy. Boy, oh boy, is Jessie beautiful. I wonder if she could be the one. I wonder what kind of kids we'd have together. And most importantly, I wonder what her head would look like on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out with me today. I really needed that. Of course. Thanks for introducing me to something new. Uncomfortable at first, but I'm glad I did. Yeah. I guess it's good to try something new every once in a while. Well, you know what they say. If you do something new every day, then your chances of happiness go up. Really? I don't think I've heard that before. It's because I just made it up. <laughs> Women. They're the easiest animals on this planet to manipulate. Governed by their emotions, they can't escape it. They live for emotion. That's why you hear all these stories of women who constantly date these souls but can never let them go. As long as you can get them to feel something, then you become their source of happiness. That and I slipped something in her drink when she wasn't looking. Hey, hey, are you okay? It sounded like you were having a nightmare. Ryan, um, Good morning. I was just, um, uh, Jesus, how long was I asleep for? Well, uh, we met up at 10 a.m. and it's 5.30 p.m. now. Uh, but hey, on the bright side, I got you some more matcha. They say it's good for you. Um, thanks. Ryan, can I be honest with you? I've never done this before. Done what? Done this? I don't know why I did it either. Something must have came over me. I feel really guilty, like I did something wrong. I just, I haven't been myself these past few months. N wrong, no, no, this is right. I love you. Excuse me? I love you. 
I knew it the moment we first started talking. Ryan, that's weird. Don't say that. But it's true. And I know you love me too, or else you wouldn't have invited me in here. Um, I'm going to get ready for work now. Can I walk you out? Sure, yeah. Hey, who's this, by the way? Who's who? This guy here in the, in the photo frame. That? That's my ex-boyfriend. Oh. And you still have pictures of him up? It's complicated. Um, I'll tell you about it some other time, okay? All right, let's go. Hey, I'm sorry for being weird. This just isn't like me. Oh, no, hey, no, it's, it's fine. It's not like me either. Let's, let's just take things slow. It's better that way. I'm so Do you glad want me you to pick understand. you up after work? Wait, what? Ugh, Ryan, no. I just don't think I'm ready to start dating yet. In fact, I think I could use some space. Um, we can still be friends, though. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. Yeah, no, that's that's completely fine. Let's just stay friends. You're not just saying that to get rid of me, right? Like you actually you actually want to be friends? Of course, Ryan. David! Hey there, stranger. You have a minute to talk? You know, in some weird ways, I'm kind of glad it happened. It forced me to have to go out there and do some soul searching and find myself. I replayed that day over and over in my mind. If I could go back to that night, I would have said yes in a heartbeat. It's okay. We're here now, right? Hey, do you ever about us getting back together again? Maybe picking up where we left off? I would love that more than anything. I have to ask, um, were you seeing anyone while we were apart? What? No, I would never do that to you. My heart belongs to you. No, I, I know, I, like, I know you love me, babe. I just mean like, were you seeing anyone? Like, you didn't sleep with anyone, did you? I wanted to tell him the truth. I wanted to tell him so bad, but I couldn't, at least not now. It's not the right time. I know you can't hear me, David, but I promise to tell you the truth. No, never. I would never. I, I trust you, babe. I just thought I'd ask. Are you hungry? You want to get something to eat? All this crying has got me hungry now. <laughs> I would love that. It looks kind of cold out. Um, let me go grab a coat. Yeah.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.